Hui. Oh, there it is. I put it in the middle so I would find it again. But it's so small, and especially against that background and that lit fire over here. Gamepad's plugged in and ready to play. By the way, I know basically nothing about this game by now. Like, the premise of the game is you spawn somewhere. I'm trying to be as vague as possible. You spawn somewhere, and you have 20 minutes to do whatever you want to do, and then you have to restart. That's basic thing broken down. Wake up, E. I have my controller plugged in. There we go, X. Heavy breathing. Oh, never mind. The game literally has to tell me that I can look around. Okay, yeah, the graphics, I'm at 20 FPS right now. That's not gonna work. Give me a second. Resume. Well, 40 FPS, I can play with that. Let's see how the FPS is gonna be out in the space. Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program. Didn't know this is text-based. <laughs> Ready if you are. Speaking of pilots, make sure you don't crash. Well, I'm sure I will crash. <laughs> Get the launch codes, bring them down here, and then say goodbye. Hi. Requires lo Okay, this is our spaceship? Okay, this might be our spaceship. It doesn't look like a spaceship, it looks like a tower. This is probably not our spaceship. Okay, so when you press jump longer, you jump higher, apparently? Yep, absolutely. That's a nice mechanic. Who are you, little one? Looks like the, the Impa from, from Breath of the Wild. Yay, it's me. Who else? There are only apparently three people on this planet, who else did you expect? <laughs> I'm gonna be stuck ages on this planet. <laughs> oh no, that's not... That looks good. That looks just where I wanna be. I think I broke it. Reset. <laughs> to the sun we go. Goodbye spaceship. Thank you very much for your services. I'm sorry Impa for breaking your spaceship. One hour later. I don't think it's gonna come back. <laughs> and it's gone. I'm confused. Just trying to kill myself with a fire. <laughs> okay, I swear to god, pressing every button just doesn't get me out. The only button I can press is B. Ah, never mind, yeah. I'm bad at this game. <laughs> right off the bat. Okay, I don't like her. She tried to trap me within the spaceship. I'm also really not used to playing first-person games with a controller. I didn't expect to be stuck on this planet for so long. I mean, I know it's only been like five minutes. Oh, there are more people here. Hello, astronaut. What's with the radio? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's a signal scope, not a radio. Sorry, can't today, little kid. I'm trying to fly to space. Okay, sure. Whatever you say. Yeah, I think I'm switching to mouse and keyboard. And I also gotta configure my, like, mouse sense. Leave menu. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> she won't talk to me. Well then. Gonna invade your house. I can't. Maybe there's a back door. There actually is a lot on this planet? I thought this is literally just like your starting planet. Okay, tell me more about the radio, please. Sure, let's play. I guess I will have a lot to learn. Like, I have a lot to learn about this game. Close your eyes and start counting. Okay, so I think I have a general idea what this signal scope is gonna be. Equip it with Y. So, what was that? Ooh. Plays nice music. It's the old man, who's also a woman. <laughs> and not very old. This is a weird mechanic, but I guess I need to wait and find a way to get up there. This actually feels a bit like Kakariko. Check and mate. 
Maybe she's mute. Never mind, she's not. Gotcha, fam. On to the next one. Okay, I see him already. I didn't expect like anything from the starting planet, to be honest. Oh jeez, the waterfall is loud. What do you mean, he won? I won, I found them both. <laughs> oh, he said something, I didn't listen to him, sorry. Yeah, I also hope space is nice. I hope we won't die in like 20 minutes. I know like the core concept, I just don't know anything that's gonna happen. Except for the beginning and the ending. <laughs> so, up we go. Thank god the waterfall stopped being so loud. That was obnoxious. So many people over here, holy shit. They're all so small. I cannot duck. Hi, astronaut. What is ghost matter? Okay, fair enough. Like plastic, yay. <laughs> um, I don't know what ghost matter is, so I'm supposed to pick one of those options. I guess someone lost his foot by it. That is so cool, wow. Okay, so... That stuff appears to be ghost matter. There's a sign here. Danger. Pocket of ghost matter. Strange and dangerous, blah 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 blah. I'm sure it's fine. So the sign is saying I can kill myself with this. I wonder if they have an invisible wall over there. They don't. I shouldn't do this. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I will do that in the future dialogues. Did the sun just set? Okay, that was... I guess the moon passed. That's not a moon! <gasps> <laughs> Oh, I have a flight coach. Sure, because I have no idea how I'm flying. I mean, I just flew this test thing, but I wouldn't really call it flying. <laughs> Gossen. Gotta find someone called Gossen. Oh, I guess he's in the Zero-G cave. Are you Gossen? Actually, yes. Wow, that was easy. I'm good at games, look. Okay, I need to repair a satellite. Yep, I can do that. He seems to be relevant to the story. I can do stuff for you. Down we go. Into the mines. Okay, so F is flashlight. I like that. That's intuitive. Oh, that's why they call it Zero-G Cave, I see. <laughs> Suit up. Okay, so now we can fly. Ooh, the lighting effects is pretty cool. There's a miner over here. Hello, fellow miner. Um, blah blah blah. Give me the dirt. <laughs> okay, someone crashed outside of the village. How about that? Anything else? Guess where I'm going today? I'm going to space. I'm an astronaut. Yeah, no, I'm not trying to make you. I'm special. You're not. I'm going into space. <laughs> I don't think he likes the zero G. Also, he's lost half of his ear, that poor fella. Why is he even down here if he hates it so much? Go, like, follow your dream. Get a different job, man. Zero-G cave down. Twice. So this is the actual zero-G cave here. Yeah? Ah! <gasps> a lamp. That looks a bit like the broken satellite I'm supposed to repair. Okay, my velocity is now matched. I am now part of the satellite. Embrace the life as a satellite. Be the satellite. Hmm. <laughs> that didn't do much. I don't feel like I'm up for the job. I'm probably the wrong person. I'm also probably the wrong person to go into space. <gasps> oh, there's someone in there. Eh. I got this. Hello. Oh, can actually repair it. Do not, do not. Uh. Nice. Okay, I'm supposed to like repair all of them probably then. So I don't get what it does for me to like match the velocity of this thing. Okay, I guess when I'm right next to it. Okay, yeah, that was 
that made sense. <laughs> what do you mean training simulation? Did they bring a satellite down here and then break it only for me to train on it? That's dedication right there. And up we go, right against the wall. <laughs> oh jeez, I'm gonna be so lost in space. That's right, this is where I came from. I recognize this place now. And back up we go. Should I leave the armor here? No. Well, he takes it off anyways and it just disappears. Into oblivion. Launch codes from the observatory. Wait. Now I just need to find out what the observatory is. That looks like an observatory. Sure. Off we go. Can I swim? <laughs> okay, I cannot get up there. What a shame. There's probably something behind that waterfall. There's always something behind the waterfall. Hello, sir. What you looking at? Hey, look, I'm, I'm his favorite astronaut. <laughs> Cannot prize that word. Okay, so what's the dirt? It's like a slang on that planet. I actually wanted the miner to give me dirt so I can like have it in my inventory, but he didn't. Yep, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try not to die. The statue does summon and it appears to be summon. Yep, got it. I have a feeling like it's... I have to pay attention to a lot of stuff in this game. And I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to... Like, I'm not gonna be capable of paying attention to that much stuff. Especially not when talking at the same time. What is that? Ah, that's just a single letter. Apparently it's not. <laughs> looks like a single letter <laughs> okay I see those are all small letters okay fair enough okay I expected to just be flying around and uh, doing some stuff Ooh, that's where I want to go oh, there's a space station around it yep that's my kind of place first goal the train station not the train station the space station. <laughs> so what are you? Well, that's cool. It has its own miniature sun. But it looks a bit frozen on the top, considering there's literally sun orbiting it. So we need to fly north. <laughs> or something. Okay, I'm just actually here for the launch codes. Where they at? Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. We're better equipped than ever. That's good. What are your plans? Definitely not the first one. <laughs> Meet up with other travelers, that was also not my plan, no. Um, yeah, starting with something small sounds good. <laughs> yes. Do the simple things. Like fly into the sun or something. That's something small, right? <laughs> or a moon would be a safe place to travel to, okay, yeah. And then again, the sun. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. That looks complicated. <laughs> That's Sonic? No, it's not. Oh, it's alive! How oh, cute! Hello, little one. What are you? A fish, obviously. Attached to the landing gear of one of our ships. Okay. <laughs> so, stay away from dark bramble. Did it just switch position? Or is this a different room? It did switch positions. Okay, then I better find out what the fuck it is. Tell me, sign. It appears to react to conscious observation. Hmm. It exists in several states at once, and once it's observed, it decides for a state. Yeah, that is indeed creepy. <laughs> Seeing it that big. Now I just need to find the exit. Sure, I came in somewhere. Ah, that's right. Um, hello? Could you not? 
It's trying to eat me, I swear to God. I am slightly terrified. Back off slowly. <laughs> Oh, I forgot what it was, but it was like the Naomi or summon. Jesus Christ. That's a weird, weird museum. Oh, look, some music. The sun is rising. I'm not ready to talk, I want to fly into space. Ow. <laughs> that marshmallow is in a can? That is truly an advanced planet, if they have marshmallows in a can. Okay, this looks like a spaceship, if I've ever seen one. Well, it looks like a do-it-yourself spaceship. And it looks like the miniature one, a little bit. Oh well, let's go into it. That's armor, I've seen that one before. Okay. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Because otherwise I would have probably just set up autopilot on and would have gone... I would have just yeeted myself straight into the sun. Health and fuel. That's nice. <laughs> Which was originally my goal. But yeah, I'm probably not going to do that now. <laughs> it's a boohoo. It's the female boohoo. It looks just like it. The bottom one. A giant steep. Okay, someone went there. Gabro went there, apparently. This is a meteor and this is broken by the looks of it. I think I've seen a picture of this one on the internet somewhere. Fair enough. Back to the map, back to the ship. Uh, the, the moon, now that I'm not going into the sun anymore. The moon. That's not a moon.